Drug Task Force Officers Michael Pate and Chris Freeze arrive at Eno Road in Dixon County where they believe Richard Lowe Jr. and his girlfriend, Tashana Albert, are making meth. The officers arrest Lowe, find meth on him, but when it gets rough, his girlfriend pulls out her cell phone and starts taping. Public defender Jake Lockhart says the entire search was illegal. It was a warrantless search. They had no warrant um, on this gentleman at all. Uh, and simply went around and began trying to search his person without consent. And when he tried to resist or tell them not to search him, um, he actually told them no. That is when they started beating him, threw him to the ground, and then you see what transpires. But Officer Pate says Lowe did give him consent to search him and then started resisting arrest. And you'll see he's not resisting at all. Watch it. When he lets go of the chokehold, you'll see. Officer Pate continues to search Lowe's pockets while he's handcuffed and claims Lowe started to resist again. Lockhart believes that Lowe wasn't resisting. He was just being contorted into such awkward positions he was screaming and squirming in pain. They don't suspect weapons. They're clearly looking for drugs. You don't punch uh, a man in the face that's handcuffed just because uh, he may or may not be in possession of drugs.